Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are set to return to the UK next month for the 10th anniversary of the Invictus Games, an event co-founded by Harry himself, but beneath the supposed celebratory purpose lies a simmering tension, a six-word warning issued by a royal correspondent. Do more to win over the British public. This cryptic message hints at a potentially frosty reception for the Sussexes, raising questions about the true nature of their relationship with the royal family and the public. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex's departure from their senior royal roles in 2020 followed by a series of tell-all interviews criticizing the palace left a bitter taste in many Britain's mouths. While Harry has spoken of a desire for reconciliation, his comments haven't always translated into conciliatory actions. His memoir, Spare, reportedly contained digs at several royals for their straining relations. Meghan Markle, ever the lightning rod for controversy, hasn't helped matters. Accusations of diva-like behavior during her time as a working royal continue to dog her, with some reports suggesting a growing sense of isolation within the couple themselves. Meghan's own ambitions in Hollywood and the couple's multi-million dollar deals with streaming giants raise questions about their commitment to their philanthropic work, a cornerstone of their public image. The upcoming visit presents a delicate dance for all parties involved. Harry undoubtedly wants to celebrate the success of the Invictus Games, a project close to his heart. However, the visit carries the potential to be overshadowed by the ongoing drama with the royal family. Will the Sussexes use this platform to extend a genuine olive branch or will their presence simply reignite tensions? A fractured fairy tale the narrative of the outspoken American transforming the stuffy British royals was always a fairy tale with an uncertain ending. Meghan's entry into the royal fold was met with initial enthusiasm, but cracks began to show early on. Reports of clashes with palace staff and a perceived sense of entitlement created friction within the family. The couple's decision to step back from royal duties, citing a desire for privacy and financial independence, was met with mixed reactions. However, the bombshell interview with Oprah Winfrey in 2021 truly shattered the facade of a happy family. Meghan's allegations of racism within the palace and a feeling of being unsupported during her struggles with mental health cast a dark shadow on the monarchy. Harry's own comments about feeling trapped within the royal system further damaged the relationship. The Markle sparkle fades, while Meghan was initially seen as a breath of fresh air, her popularity has waned considerably. Accusations of manipulating the media and a perceived lack of genuine warmth have taken their toll. Her reported demands for privacy seem at odds with her desire to remain in the public eye, further confusing the narrative. Furthermore, the couple's multi-million dollar deals with streaming services raise questions about their true motivations. Is their philanthropy a genuine passion or a carefully curated brand image? These doubts create a dissonance that is hard for the public to reconcile. The road to reconciliation reconciliation, if it's to happen at all, will require a genuine effort from both sides. Harry needs to walk the walk, not just talk the talk. Actions speak louder than thinly veiled criticisms in a memoir, and a public display of unity with his family would go a long way. Meghan, too, needs to adjust her approach. A softer touch, a willingness to compromise, and a focus on genuine public service would help rebuild trust. The upcoming visit could be a turning point, but only time will tell if the Sussexes are willing to bridge the divide.